I thought you understood that we're not amateurs, Chief. You handle this very badly. You have one hour to get us out. One hour? One hour's not enough. No more communication. All those people down there, they must think we're some kind of monsters. Freaks. This is going to be over soon, Victor. We're going to have the life I imagined for us very soon. Tina, uh, if anything should happen to me, you are not to leave me to the tender mercies of the police. It took us three years to figure out how to break you out. I'm not going to leave you now. Now listen to me, Tina. If at any point I am unable to continue, you are to leave me, but don't leave me alive. You said you would do anything for me. But I meant that... Never make promises you haven't thought out. I love you. And you will keep this promise to me. Thank you, Steve. And now we resume our live report from the North Bright Towers where the big story of the night continues to unfold. Tom? Thank you, Liz. A double source says that plans to the building were given to a man, an unidentified man, who was working for the police department. On the international scene... The legendary Buddy Lee, Mrs. Baskin. Both sides feel there is a growing danger of... Joss, you and Pedro, go and find him and kill him. You know, your loyalty to this Buddy Lee is... Uh, it's refreshing. If I can avoid killing you, I will. You're not eating? After I went to all that trouble getting food here? Oh, American women are so fickle. Ah, I understand. You have dragons to slay. You have some ideal. Ideals are for young men. I live too long. I know too much. I do what I do for me. Maybe. For her. Maybe for a second chance of life. And you're willing to die for her? Well, perhaps that's a question I should ask of your buddy, Lee. I beseech you. Listen to me. We can help each other. Ron and Engel help. Chief is busy right now. Will I do? No, I want Chief McGee, please. I need him directly. We he manages to get past my people, and I see him or hear him or smell him or imagine him. I will kill Mrs. Baskin at once. That's not going to get you... Please don't interrupt, Chief. That's not going to get Don't interrupt! You. Second, if we're not on our way out of here in uh, half an hour, the first hostage will land at your feet. I don't think you want to do that. Oh, yes, I do want to do that, Chief. The time for waiting is over. We'll get it done, but it's going to take another hour. Chief, what plans are to be made, you have made long time ago. Do you think I'm a child? If you will transport us to safety, we're prepared for that. If you will assault us, we're also prepared for that. The rest is just simply playing for time. Well, time will run out now in 29 minutes. You have to act. It's time. Let's go. They gave in. They say they did. 